Hello. Monica Dina Hubbard's here of Whole Heart Energy Healing. Welcome to day 25 of your Stairway to Sovereignty for Going Fears for Freedom. We're talking about the dreaded F word, fear, facing it, tossing it out, and placing you into a fun and fabulous new year. Hi, Linus. Fear serves a purpose that's intended to get our attention. Yet once the issue at hand has your attention, feeling fear is no longer helpful. In fact, it's quite harmful. Now, it takes time and action in a different direction instead of staying in its tight grip. We're going to take on a challenge to recognize how fears in our thoughts, ideas, our attitudes, and our beliefs can negatively control how we think, act, and feel. Hi, Mandy. We're making fear work for us instead of thinking it's against us. Instead of shooting the messenger, we're paying attention to the message so we can course correct and continue. Yesterday, we discussed angerphobia or the fear of anger. People having this fear truly fear getting angry because when expressed, their anger is so often out of control that it's frightening to them and those around. Anger is one of those wrong and forbidden emotions to be expressed in public and even private, especially for women. Letting go of pent-up feelings in a healthy manner allows our bodies to calm down. People can run, exercise, journal, scream into a pillow, work out at the gym, play violent video games, however, as ways to release the tension building up inside. Healthy anger puts us into a more powerful state of mind than being sad or depressed or having hurt feelings. Today's fear has to do with what some people go through when feeling sad, depressed, and low, especially when they compare themselves to others. Let's learn more in this episode called Feeling Defeated and Missing Out. When you're disappointed or you think that nothing's going right, you can feel defeated. Are you one of those people who, when you're determined to win, <laughs> You won't accept defeat even though it's obvious you've been defeated. <laughs> Feeling defeated instills a type of fear that goes in the direction of, of two ways. You feel depressed and sad, or you feel like you're missing out and do everything possible to be like everyone else. Let's look at feeling defeated, and that leads to depression, or often, not always. Like many negative emotions, when you allow yourself to get caught up in your defeating thoughts, it can play a number on you. You allow that terrible thought tyrant to run the show. Your thoughts are your thoughts and nobody has an off switch to stop thinking. Darn it. Yet everyone has a pause button that can be switched to a new station from terrible talk to therapeutic thoughts means you distract yourself. When you tune into negative and self-destructive thoughts, you have to first recognize that it's happening and then you have to interrupt the pattern and align to a more supportive, helpful, and transformational frequency so you can move forward once more. Some ways to do with defeat can include switching to seeing that not only is the glass half full, but it can be topped up and it's refillable. Realizing that most every failure puts you one step closer to success. How about being open to learning a lesson and gifts that uh, gifts you with skills and knowledge that you previously didn't have? And seeking guidance from experts to give you a leg up are all ways to help you with that form of feeling defeated. Now let's look at the other one, the fear of missing out. Did you know that in 2013, 
a new word was added to the Oxford Dictionary. FOMO, F-O-M-O, -O, which is the fear of missing out. You can see it also in the ur urban dictionaries and there's a few other dictionaries online that you can find out information. FOMO is an uneasy and sometimes all-consuming feeling that you're missing out. It's a form of fear that shows up in the way of anxiety. It's a fear that an exciting or an interesting event may be currently happening somewhere else and is often aroused by various posts seen on social media. The focus is on the thought of what your peers are doing. They may be in the know about, or perhaps that they are in position, possession of more or something better than you. It's kind of a twist on the modern, it's a modern twist on the old one called Keeping Up With The Joneses. Keeping up with the Joneses meant to want to own the same expensive objects and do the same things as your friends, or you want to do something in order to show that you have as much money as other people. Rather than because they really like to do it. People were holding down three jobs just to keep up with the Joneses. It's exhausting. In the case of FOMO, Instead of going into debt or working three jobs just to keep up, this fear and anxiety has turned inward and expresses itself in other ways. FOMO is also very self-defeating as it ensures you into a holding, ensnares you into a holding pattern of behavior. It leads you to repeatedly check social media so you don't feel out of the loop, so you know you're doing okay so you don't feel left out. Caught in the FOMO cycle? You're probably not feeling too great about your own life. Sometimes that compulsive checking alleviates the anxiety, but often it doesn't really. It's like being addicted to something. You get a high and then there's the inevitable low that follows. You never really get to just be as it drives you to keep you running around that digital hamster wheel to feel okay with yourself. Ah, and thanks to the wonders of 4G, your friends' day-to-day -day lives have become part of your own, stirring up frazzled feelings that make you wonder, why aren't you doing those things too? The fear of missing out often originates in unhappiness. And social media makes it worse, not better. Social media platforms aren't evil, but relying on them for happiness is detrimental to your good health and your self-esteem. May I suggest that you face your formal, your fear of missing out? How about recognize that you have this fear and decide you wish to make a change? Admitting and accepting that you have this fear or have this anxiety can feel like your secret is out and has been released and then the burdens are off your shoulders. That recognition that you can tackle a problem also helps. Focus on the good and you will feel better. Switch off the chatter. Turn off your connection to social media from time to time and limit your activity. Set aside a certain time of the day to check all your social media outlets. Find a time of day that works for you to catch up and stick to it. Find two times. Whatever works for you. Now, consider redoing your morning without your eyes glued to the screen. I read that a lot of people wake up and they turn on their screen to check out what's going on out there. And is it helping you? I don't think so. Practice, practice mindfulness. Focus on the present experience. Rather than multitasking or rushing through your task, appreciate your current state of being. Being mindful can help with those major FOMOs things and enjoy the task in here and now.
instead of yearning for what else could be. Try expressing gratitude for whatever you're experiencing. Go out and talk to people face to face, not FaceTime, over a cup of coffee. Get connected to real people in real time and have a real instead of virtual experience. Try it. <laughs> you might just like it. Yeah, these are my own opinions, but still, I think you'll find that uh, the information on FOMO is out there. If you search the net, my goodness, there's a lot to be found. If you're still feeling overwhelmed by this type of fear, book a session with me, and together we'll kick your fear out on its rear with restorative techniques to help you heal. I'm putting together some courses that will make healing and achieving your goals faster easier and more efficient as you deserve a more balanced fear free and happier life message me i hope that you're supported during this quest and can find someone to go along with you on your journey let's do it together together is better use the link below that i'll post in a moment called getting to know you and we'll explore what you want to achieve in life and move forward into a happier way of being. This has been day 25 of your Stairway to Sovereignty, foregoing fears for freedom, so you can get a new year, a new decade, and a new you off to a freeing and abundant new start. And I have a challenge. I posted it just minutes earlier. Share a way that you'd help your friend get over their FOMO. Get over their free fear of missing out. Cheers to your success. And I'd love to thank uh, Linus and Mandy for joining me. I so appreciate you showing your support. Don't forget to do the little heart button there and share it so that my voice can get out there a little bit more. Thanks all and take care and have a great weekend. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.